Hey, I'm really excited. You know, it's a new season and I've got a brand new Nitro Z21 rig just the way that I like it here. So this is the cleanest it's gonna be all year long. I don't have any tackle in it yet, but I do have it rigged with all my favorite gear from Minn Kota and Humminbird, uh, from TH Marine. I've got a brand new Mercury 250 Pro XS on the back and I've got a lot of other little things. So we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna show you how I have it rigged, why I have it rigged that way and why I like it that way. So stay tuned. I've had several Z21s now, and I love the layout of this boat. You know, it's designed by the pros, so it has all the features that I want in the ultimate fishing machine. You know, what's new for this year, though, is an all-new console. So the console is fully enclosed, it's got a digital dash to it, new windshield, new look, and I really like how it turned out. So this year, the Z21 has a brand new console, so it's got a new windshield, kind of a new look, and it's fully enclosed underneath, so there's you know nothing showing, no wires or anything like that. I really like that. I have some extra TH Marine lights in there. I love that early in the morning. It kind of lights up the floor of the boat, um, so I can kind of see everything. But the dash itself is incredible. So I've got you know two Hummingbird Solix 12s mounted right here, so I can see everything that I need to see out on the water. Um, all my uh, you know switches are now just push button touch switches. So it's got a night mode. Um, you can turn your live wells on and off, you know, bilge pumps, all those normal functions that you have all in one digital dash. So everything else, very similar. You know, it's got a tilt wheel so I can get that. The seat is fully adjustable forward and back. These seats are really comfortable, but really kind of lock you in. It's kind of a NASCAR inspired design. So they're like a bucket type race car seat. Um, you know, I've got a, a cell phone holder right here, charging station. I've got my Talon switches here. Also, one of the things that I really like is I've got a sound system in mind. I, I love to be able to play music on practice days and things like that. Um, it's, it's just kind of nice. Or if I'm out with a family during the summer, having that audio system is a nice upgrade. But everything's right here. I've got a hot foot. Um, you know, I've got all my controls right here at the helm. I can see over the depth finders really easy. It really deflects the wind off. This console is really, really a nice upgrade. One thing that I really like at the console is having these pro trims. I have one for my Atlas jack plate and one for the engine trim itself. So it's right there at your fingertips. You can keep both hands on the wheel. You know, I can control the throttle with that hot foot. And in rough water, it really makes a difference for boat control. One of the other neat features on my Z21 is the built-in fan inside the storage compartments. There's two settings. You can run it manually or on auto. So it just keeps that air moving to prevent any condensation inside your storage compartments. I ordered my boat with this extra storage here. You can get a third seat option for this center spot, you know, if you fish a lot with three people on the boat. But uh, I like this extra little storage. I keep my iPod link right there. Um, you keep some extra stuff right there. It's always good to have extra storage. Another thing is, is there's a, a built-in net uh, storage here where you can keep your net right in here and it straps in. I keep my super stick right here. It fits perfectly along the back. It's, it's out of the way until I need it. Uh, the other thing is, you know, you've got your measuring board right here, it's right between your live wells. They've got the, one of the best live well systems in the industry. You know, it's baffled at the top, so it keeps that water from sloshing around. Um, it's recirculating pumps, freshwater pumps that are independent for each live well. It's not sharing the same water. These are arguably the best live wells um, in the industry right now. So it's just a really good system. Got oxygenators to, to put uh, oxygen in the water. So all this right here really makes a big difference um, if you're a tournament fisherman. One of the things that I love about a Nitro is all the little uh, well thought out options that they have and things built into the boat that, that really make a difference. So just for instance, like in the cooler itself, you know, it's got a trash receptacle. This is really nice. So you're not just throwing new soft plastics out on the floor. You got a place to actually put them. Uh, inside the cooler itself, it's really big and it's roto molded and insulated. So it's the same technology that Yeti uses in their cooler. So it's really gonna hold ice real well. And then it's got a dry storage uh, little sandwich receptacle to kind of keep anything, you know, your food and stuff out of where it's gonna get wet. All this uh, lid is insulated, so it really does a nice job and you can keep, uh, you know, a lot of stuff in there for a whole day's fishing, even if it's really hot. The other thing is, you know, this little pull-up drawer here. I mean, it's just a handy place you can 
put your keys and uh, you know ex extra little things, your wallet and stuff like that during the day for you know for there. Um, there's a second uh, spot here if you want a second console. I like the single console myself for tournament fishing. You know, it gives me a place that uh, that I can get down the land fishing and stuff very easily. A lot of people though, you know, you got to have that second console. So it's an easy addition. You know, here on the side, you've got your partner uh, rod storage. So there's a, a spot they can stick them, you know, the butts of the rods just go in there, it locks them in, there's a strap right there for it. It's just really, really uh, well thought out. And then as I'm fishing, you know, having this split storage like this really makes it nice. So I can, you know, put my tackle boxes, I put those Plano 3700s in here, and I can either be on one side and, and work on this side or come right over here. So these are the, the storage boxes that I put a lot of tackle that I fish with uh, on, a, on a daily basis and want to get to really regularly right here. So it just really gives it a real nice um, layout that's easy to work, to sit down and work on your tackle while you're out fishing. And then I have a big storage compartment here in the front. And again, this is all divided out and designed for that 3700 type platform to be able to put a lot of boxes up in here and really customize your storage for your fishing stock. You know, rod storage is something that's really critical and this Z21 has a bunch of it. So it's got two steps on it. And again, you can stick the, the rod tubes right in there um, with tubes up here in the front, all carpeted to protect it. And then on this side, I've got another uh, big open storage area and there's you know spots for your running lights, for your seat pedestals, even a paddle <laughs> like you need it. But the law says you have to have it. Um, I also have a TH Marine locker bar. So this is a great addition. Uh, as much as I'm on the road, you know, I put that locker bar in. It's a visual that keeps these compartments locked. The other thing that I have is a TH Marine two-way alarm. So on top of this, uh, I have that. So it works by vibration. If anybody tries to get into my boat, open a compartment, it's going to set that off and uh, let me know. And it works inside my hotel room. You know, this is going to go off. This thing right here is a, a very inexpensive way to have a great peace of mind out on the road. Another neat little thing that I like to have in my boat underneath the compartment lids is a tackle titan. So this is just a set of magnets and you can just put some of those baits, you know, that you're fishing with at the moment and it's going to keep them in place. Even in rough conditions, I mean, they're not going to fall off of there. So it's just a great addition to have. On the deck itself, I really like lights. So early in the morning, I'm getting ready. Um, I like these TH Marine rock lights. I've got them mounted on my trailer. I've got them mounted on the deck, underneath the console, inside the compartments. Also even have them in the back of my truck. I like the red and white combo. You know, the red is, is more subdued in the morning and it really doesn't draw bugs at all. So it's just a great setup. The front deck on a Z21 is all padded. It makes it really nice if you're out there in rough water, um, you know, running that trolling motor all day long. And again, it's got two positions for your pro pole seat. It's got, it comes with a hydraulic pro pole. I've got my rod tie downs here, and then I've got everything else up here. So the front deck of my Z21 is where I spend the majority of my time. So first and foremost, you know, it's got padding underneath the carpet, so it makes it very comfortable. Um, there's two positions for your butt seat, and I use that a lot. You know, in rough water conditions, it's great to be able to lean against, and I fish a lot on the Great Lakes, so I'm gonna have this, uh, I'm gonna have this butt seat in an awful lot of the time. And then on top of that, I gotta have um, good rod tie downs. So I got them on both sides. I like uh, these, this type right here instead of the straps, you know, lures don't get caught in them or anything like that. Um, you know, I've got an Altrex mounted up here in the front with the brand new Hummingbird Mega 360. That is a just a game changer. So I've got a dedicated unit now uh, with four Solix 12s on my boat just for that Mega 360. It's so clear. It's so much better uh, than the 360 that I used before. I mean, it's, it's just like it's on steroids now. So the, the picture is really clear. That's something that I'll be running all the time now. So I've got two of those units stacked there. Um, I've got it mounted on a wave camera, which makes it really solid. And uh, I've got a traction pad on the, on the deck of my uh, uh, Ultrax foot pedal right there. Makes it really nice. It never gets hot in the summer. And it's just very comfortable. If you want to run, run it in bare feet, it just makes it uh, really easy to do. Uh, I've got my talon controls right here to the side for it so that I can hit them with my foot. I've got my KVE Hydrowave right here to the side. I wouldn't go anywhere without that. 
And on top of that, uh, I've got a troll tamer on my Ultrax right here. So, you know, this is, is real critical. It really locks it down. And I mean, in the roughest water, it doesn't jiggle just the slight, I mean, not even the slightest bit. So there's no vibration on the trolling motor at all. Um, I've got a G-Force handle on the on the trolling motor. You know, it's it's got a cable to it, so it's it's rigid and solid. Got the HydroWave speaker mounted on top of that uh, trolling motor on the head of the Ultrax. And then itself, it's got a built-in down imaging transducer, uh, you know, right in it. So it's crystal clear. I don't get any interference. And I can tell you, this baby right here, this Ultrax, to me, is the most proven game-changing tool that I've seen in bass fishing in a long time. You know, with the spot lock and just how precise and how fast the controls are. And again, just the proven reliability of that Ultrax. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't chance it with any other motor. That motor right there uh, just really made a huge difference in the way that I fish. So got a lot of different options up here in the front of the boat. This is where I spend the majority of my time. So having everything laid out where I can see it, I can get to it and I can control it right with my fingertips or with my foot is really important. One of the major changes for me this year um, with my Hummingbirds is that I made the switch to Solich units. So I've got four Solich 12s uh, on the boat and to really fully maximize the one boat network and to be ultimately flexible, it's just awesome to be able to have touchscreen units like this. If I'm back at the console and I see something on the side imaging, it just takes a split second to touch the screen to zoom in. So to really maximize that, I knew I wanted to go to the, to the Solichs. Uh, again, I've got a dedicated one that I will be running with this 360 Mega all season long up here. And I can really control everything from up here. I can control my talents. I can do it from the depth finder. I can do it from the switches. And, and that's what I like to have is that ultimate and flexibility. So having a trolling motor, electronics, and talents that all work and think together. I mean, the true one boat network, it's a big difference out there in the water. When you're competing against the best in the world, you have to have every advantage that you can. And technology-wise, I know I have the best. When you come to the back of the Z21, first you notice it's got a huge rear casting platform, two big storage boxes, and then access to your batteries and bilge compartment there. In the rear storage compartment, what I like is it's got a couple of these trays so I can put extra things that I don't get to very often uh, back there. Otherwise, it would have been wasted space. And then you can get to your batteries and bilge pumps and stuff really easy. One big upgrade that I did is switch to Lithium Pro batteries. So Lithium Pros are just, they're incredibly light and they give me a lot more running time. Each of these batteries weighs 27 pounds. Um, so, you know, they're, they're really lightweight, helps with my hole shot, helps with my overall performance, but they have a ton of power too. I can run all day long and actually probably two days without even charging them. I've got them set up uh, with a four bank uh, Minn Kota precision charger. I've got a spare prop back here. It's got a battery terminal switch here so I can cut all the power to the whole boat system. But it just makes everything neat and clean and they give you a lot of access to be able to get to everything back here. So it's a really nice setup uh, the way that Nitro does it. As important as the technology is on the bow of my Z21, it's pretty much the same here on the stern with my Mercury Pro XS, an Atlas jack plate, and two talons mounted on the back. So first and foremost, I've got two eight foot talons and I choose the eight footers for one simple reason. You know, with the Ultrax on the bow of the boat, I can spot lock in rough water and I can come back here and stand on the back deck where it's the most comfortable and really pick a spot apart. And having these talons that are eight footers and they're shorter than the height of that engine just makes it real easy if I'm you know, jerking a jerk bait or throwing a crank bait where I, I can set the hook, they're not gonna be in the way. I've got them on fold down brackets. And again, part of the, the whole benefit of having an Ultrax, Hummingbirds, and Minn Kota Talons is they all think and work together. It's all part of that one boat network. So in shallow water, there's nothing better than anchoring down with these two talons to keep that boat precisely in the spot. You know, if you're, if you're sight fishing, if you're flipping mats, things like that, you wanna be real quiet, sneak up there, and not have that boat move a bit, these talons are hard to beat. But if I'm out there in open water, I still have that spot lock on my Ultrax. So if I'm deeper than that eight foot zone, I'm gonna use it. So having all of that technology working together really makes a big difference. Um, on my engine, I can't tell you enough 
how great this Mercury four stroke is. You know, it's faster out of the hole. It's got unbelievable mid range. It's got unbelievable top end. It's more fuel efficient, um, you know, than the two strokes that I had before. It's got a super high output alternator so that I can keep my batteries charged and run. You know, I'm running four solar units and all the extra technology, a hydrowave, all the extra electronics and things that I have on the boat, it's a big draw on the battery. So having that high output alternator uh, really makes a big difference on that engine. So it's so smooth, it's so quiet, and it's so reliable. The thing that I can't stress enough about this Mercury Pro XS is once you experience it, once you throw the throttle down and see how quick it puts you up on plane, and just how reliable it is. It's just the greatest engine that I've ever fished out of, I've ever got to run in my whole career. Uh, I've got it matched on an Atlas hydraulic jack plate, and that really allows me to maximize the performance. So the Atlas is uh, you know, easily adjustable, even under full power, under a full load, to where if I'm you know, going across the shallow flat, I can run that jack plate up and idle at a fast pace if I need to. I can take off in much shallower water by running that jack plate up and putting it on plane. Um, it also allows me when I'm going to uh, you know, top end speed, I can adjust it just a little bit up or down to, to you know, kind of compensate for the weight and balance of the way my boat is loaded to maximize that performance. So you know, with the GPS on the console, I can see exactly what my speed is to the tent. So I can adjust that to get the top speed based on the conditions that I have out there. So if I wanna have the best control um, of my outboard and the best performance, I gotta have an Atlas jack plate. You know, when you're trailering, I got TH Marine steer stops to keep that engine from turning back and forth. I put the motor sticks on the trim pedestals on there to keep that engine from bouncing on the back of the boat. It's got retractable boat buckles on it. One of the features that's really important is this built-in boarding ladder. You know, if you ever fall out, especially in cold conditions, it's hard to climb back in. So having that, you know, that's built in and it's, it's not in the way is a really nice feature. The one thing about the Trailstar trailer that sits underneath my Nitro is that each and every trailer that they built is built for that one model boat and that one only. So it's designed to cradle it perfectly and to handle the weight and balance of this exact load. So it's a tandem axle trailer on my Z21. It's got brakes, it's got a swing away ton, so it'll fit in the garage a lot easier. And I've added some TH Marine rock lights down the side. It really helps me on those dark rainy nights when I'm traveling to help see the boat and for everybody else around me to also see my rig. So to me, it's a big safety feature. But these trailers go down the road so smooth. They tow behind, you know, you don't even really know the boat's back there behind you. You'll really be impressed with it. It's got a great finish that doesn't uh, stone chip or anything like that. Great bearing. So I've never had a problem with a Trailstar trailer towing the nitro, and I tow them all over the country.